It's time to take off your clothes, enjoy clothes free living, and join us for Naked, Nudist, and Naturist. Welcome to Naked, Nudist, and Naturist, the show that celebrates clothes free living for all. I'm your host, Frank Stone. And I'm your correspondent, Lisa Monroe, and I'll be reporting on all things within the Naturist community. So it's time to get naked and join us. And enjoy clothes free living on Naked, Nudists, and Naturists. Well, welcome on in to Naked, Nudists, and Naturists, episode 43 today, where we celebrate clothes free living for all of the right reasons, whatever you call it naturism, nudism, flat out being naked, flat out being clothes free. You've come to the right place to enjoy clothes-free living. So come on in. The water is fine. The hot tub is fired up. The grill is going full blast. We even have a little campfire out back if you want to roast some marshmallows. Even roast a hot dog instead of one that we have on the grill. We have fresh vegetables, cold drinks off to the left, hot tea, hot coffee inside, plenty of towels, plenty of suntan lotion. The only thing you have to do is enjoy the next hour as you take in the breeze, the sunshine, and enjoy this time together. We look forward to this time together. I say that on just about every show. All week long, yes, 6 o'clock a.m. is coming. We'll be with our people. Our people will be with us. And we do drop a brand new show every Saturday morning, 6 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time on Spotify. From there, it goes to every podcast platform under the sun. Sometimes instantly, sometimes it takes a few minutes or a few hours. We are not in control of that. But we are in control of the 6 a.m. Eastern Time drop on Spotify every Saturday morning. And don't forget, we give you a brand new preview every Wednesday morning, 6 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. But that one is on YouTube, and we do post those on Twitter. But we'll have to check it out the Wednesday before a show. You get an 8, 9, 10, 11, 15, 17-minute preview. Each week is a little bit different of what's going to be coming up on Saturday. So check that out as well. And I should tell you in advance, 5 is the highest rating that you can give us. Just putting it out there in case you didn't know. (laughs) When you go to Apple Podcasts, when you go to YouTube, you can merely click on 5 and be done with it. You'll be done in 2 or 3 seconds. If you'd like to leave a few comments for other people to read, we'd appreciate that as well. But please take a moment. You can even do it right now as you're listening to the show. Apple Podcasts especially, Spotify, yes, and YouTube. Like, review, subscribe. That will help us out tremendously in the world of podcasting. So we appreciate that very much. And now let's get to the latest report from Andy Rogers and her husband, Tom. Hi, this is Andy. And this is Tom with the Winter on Wheels on Perfect Tour. Mira Vista is an absolutely gorgeous resort. Several things that stood out to us as we were driving in is that the buildings are all uh, kind of in the Southwest style, giving the entire resort a formulaic feel, which was very appealing. Um, And then there is the cactus. Oh, my goodness. I am falling in love with these incredible plants. The towering saguaro are my absolute favorite. And fun fact, I just found out that they don't actually grow arms until they're at least 50 years old. Uh, I met with some incredible ladies, including Suzanne, owner of Mira Vista. Two of the ladies just arrived at the resort and came to my workshop. And this was their first visit ever. So I felt very privileged indeed that they started their visit with me. Another was on her second visit to the club, and as a brand new nudist, I welcome the women to ask questions during my presentation, which kind of gives it a much more conversational feel, and I love that. Mira Vista is absolutely a destination resort for the nudist. The people are so welcoming, the views beyond incredible, and the sunsets more vibrant than any I've ever seen before. So it was a great time, and... We'll see you down the road. And there you go, the latest report from Andy Rogers, the chair of Winner, that's W-I-N-R, Women in Nude Recreation, for the American Association for Nude Recreation. So W-I-N-R for A-A-N-R. How about that? 
Andy Rogers and her husband, Tom, will have them again on next week's show for their latest report. And here she is, the one and only, the terrifically clothes-free and equally as much smiling, our weekly correspondent on naturism, nudism, all things naked, Lisa Monroe. Hello, Lisa. How are you today? Good morning, Frank. I'm doing very, very well. How about yourself? Doing well. Good to see you. Now, on last week's show, we had a short segment, and mm -hmm. you said that's why you didn't bring any goodies in. Mm -hmm. We have a longer segment today. I haven't seen any goodies. Are they out in the car? Did you leave them out in the lobby, or what's going on? I left them in the lobby okay. just to make sure <laughs> that you were telling me the truth. No. <laughs> I, I, actually, I brought a lemon pound cake. How about that? Wow. Enough for everybody, or is it just for me today? Well, let's hope there's some left when we get back out in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> but there should be. That's true, too. Well, we got an email from a gentleman who does not want us to use uh, his name. And uh, it, it's kind of an age-old issue. We've seen this many times in the emails and direct messages we get. We'll just go ahead and read it, and then we'll talk about it. It says, hey, Frank and Lisa, love your podcast. Interesting discussion on naturism slash non-naturism in the latest episode. I'm in just that situation, so the discussion struck a chord with me. I thought I'd share my story with you. My wife and I have been together for 33 years. We're both 55 now, and at the start of our relationship, it was she who took me to my first nude beach. It's there that I discovered the freedom of nudity and, above all, social nudity. We have since been to several different nude beaches here in France where we live. We were never really nudists as such and that we didn't live nude every day, but being nude around each other or on a beach was never a problem. And once you take it from there. However, over the last 10 years, an imbalance in our nudity has taken hold with me desiring to be nude as much as possible and my wife choosing to cover up as much as possible. This imbalance obviously creates difficulties in our relationship. It's at a point now where my being nude at home is an issue for us both. My wife is no longer okay with this. So begrudgingly, but out of respect for her wishes, I stay covered up and am only nude when she is not around. She knows how important being nude is to me. She has a problem now with my and other people's nakedness. And we're not in the position of telling people what to do. And I hope if she's listening to this, ma'am, we're not against you. We think yeah. you're great, just like we think your husband's great. He reached out to us. That would be our advice. Just work it out together. Uh, working it out separately is, to me, not the way to go. And I know, Lisa, you agree. I do. And unfortunately, we have to cut it right there. We did have a longer segment than usual, thank goodness, for the first time in a long time. Yes. Uh, but Lisa Monroe, as long as you promise to remain close, free, and smiling all week, uh, we'll let you go. Is that a promise? That's a promise. That's all right. always a promise. <laughs> Our weekly correspondent on naturism, fully clothes free, fully smiling. Lisa Monroe, go out there and have a great clothes free week. We'll see you next time. Yes, sir. You too, Frank. Bye. Thank you. Bye. And now let's get to part two of my interview with the very terrific Mitch London, the current president of AANR, the American Association for Nude Recreation. Part two of my interview with Mitch London. You mentioned $64 a year. Is that per person, per family? Uh, that is a per that person. Uh, there are student rates because uh, we know students are, are students and, you know, they may not be making, you know, they may the, the, the American dream of I'm going to get out of college and make a million dollars a year right away for some reason just goes poof unless, you know, <laughs> who knows. But most of the people that I, I got to go out and get a job until I get my job type of thing. So, yeah, uh, right. so we have a student rate. Uh, we also have okay. uh, what's called a direct member, which is maybe you live in Arkansas where there's no nudist resorts, no nudist clubs, really, for other reasons yeah. that I'm not going to worry about right now. You know, you're, there's just not a resort near you. So you're like, well, I don't want to I don't, I don't want to go pay for the membership at a resort and have to travel four hours to get to it. So you can join directly online, uh, which is a little bit cheaper because you're not going through the club, uh, but you don't get all the there's there's a listing of what all the benefits are on on online for the membership benefits but you still get to be a member and you can still get all the benefits of of you know if you had an issue with the uh with a, a neighbor or whatever you can you know get all that information and you still can get uh, the newsletter so there's there's benefits for uh for you know joining through a club and there's benefits for uh just being a member you know we appreciate anybody that wants to be a member. And it's not as though somebody is a, a 
fully textile person one day becomes a nudist the next day, and by golly, they're the president. Right. You have yeah. uh, you know many steps and levels. You know, you volunteer for this, volunteer for that, get elected to this. Well, that's how I got here. I tell you what, I started out as just a regular old member. You know, I, uh, me and my local club. I went to a convention because the regional convention, because that was near where I where I lived. Now I'm like, yeah, I'll go there. And then they got their claws onto me, <laughs> and uh, I joined yes. the uh, the region board for a while. And then I was president for that for uh, uh, for two terms. And then after that, I came president of, of the national organization. So it and it's all a, a group of people that in, in one way or the other want the best for Anner, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, nobody's nobody's on the board that's like, I'm here to bring this place down. No, we're here to bring right. this place up. Right. You know, we want it. To, we want it the best we can be. We want as many members as we can get. We want as many uh, clubs as we can get. The more, the merrier, basically. Yeah, and, and that's the best kind of board to have. And most boards are not like that. They have people who have hidden agendas, which eventually become out in the open. And, and then everybody's fighting. And, well, here, you're all working for the same cause, which makes a whole lot more sense. So I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. The um, you know I wanted to mention briefly, we're going to do another interview in a few months with you, uh, Mitch London, the president of AANR, all about you cooking but not only cooking, you cook in the nude, right? You have your own show, your own uh, video show. Maybe just uh, give us a moment about that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've I started that basically. I was the, at the time, I was just the lowly uh, activities coordinator for our local club, Hill Country Nudists, uh, here in Austin. <laughs> and when the pandemic hit, you know, we used to, we were a travel club, so we didn't have facilities. Uh, so we did house parties. We did excursions to a club. We did boat you know, excursions, whatever we did. But during the pandemic, it was it was done, you know. So I started out by doing like a lot of people did. They did these Zoom meetings and we tried to play games on Zoom and it was just awkward and weird. Uh, of course, now it's a whole lot easier for that kind of thing. But, you know, there was just not much anything out there. So I, I just kind of took it upon myself because, you know, we have potluck dinners all the time. So I basically would cook something up and take it. And people would say, ooh, that's yeah. neat. Where'd you get that? Where's the recipe? This, that, and the other. And so I kind of took all that information and said, well, I could just make a, a cooking show. I've always been a fan of cooking. I've watched cooking shows going way back. And so I, I enjoy doing that. And I turned that into a show basically called This Dude Cooks in the Nude. I don't know. It wasn't the best, you know, title. It kind of is long, but, you know, it rhymes. It's got some <laughs> stuff like that. And so, but, you know, it's just something fun. And I, it started out as a, uh, it's a simple little, you know, 10 minute, let's see if I can do this, make a sandwich. And then I kind of got a little bit more into it. And uh, as, as you know, probably it's like the more you do it, the more a little bit better equipment here, a little bit better microphone, a little bit better camera, that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. So it kind of grows <laughs> and grows and grows. And so now I've been doing that for, gosh, almost, well, actually February about, you know, obviously the pandemic kind of started in February uh, of 2020. So, gosh, this is almost the three year anniversary. Holy cow. Wow. That's you know, great. so. And I've got I've almost a hundred shows now, so I'm I got to figure out what I'm going to do for my hundredth. Where Anner has to figure out what it's going to do for its hundredth, but their hundred is, right. is a lot bigger than my hundred. So <laughs> uh, I think I've seen just about every episode. The problem with your shows, though, uh, Mitch, is I end up being hungry by the end of the show. Uh, yeah, and I have to go to my own kitchen. You know, uh, and and there's some uh, I've I've discovered some amazing recipes on there because I do a thing called flag. Well, I can talk about this at the next show. It gives people a little teaser, yeah. but I basically. Yeah pick a country and then try to find out about that country's national dish. And then I try yeah, to create that. Yeah. And yeah, I sometimes that. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's difficult. Uh, I did one from South Africa and I had, and I discovered two things. One, uh, there are some amazing ingredients uh, in South African cooking. And two, I discovered our city has three African grocery stores. I had no idea, wow. it's, but I had to go to all wow. three to get all the different ingredients because yeah. they all had a little bit of this. So I had to go here. I had to get some fish from this one. I had to get some of this from here. So, yeah, there's, it's, it's, it's amazing the stuff I found out about while, just, while doing the show. Yeah, well, you do great work with that. and we Thank you for being with us today, the president of the American Association for Nude Recreation, Mitch London. The dude, is it called This, this dude, dude Cooks in the Nude? This Dude Cooks in the Nude. Because the Naked Chef, J Jared, uh, Jamie Oliver had already taken the Naked Chef, or the, you know, so I can't, I couldn't <laughs> use that one. I was going to call it The Real what? Naked Chef, but. Yeah, well, yeah. But you get everything in the title. You're nude, you're a dude, and you cook. Exactly. So yeah. why not throw it all in? Yeah, what the heck? 
Well, it's been great to talk to you. Great information on AANR, and people just go to AANR.com, and they can find out more information. Absolutely. That's the best way. Uh, go there and check it out. Call the office. Send an email. Send me an email. You know, if you have questions, let us know. We want to know. All right. Well, thank you again, Mitch London, president of AANR. Go out there and have a great close-free day, as I know you will, weather permitting, but inside if not, and uh, we will talk again down the road. Thank you very much. Sounds good, Frank. Thank you. Thank you. The very terrific uh, Mitch London, current president of AANR, American Association for Nude Recreation. And if you've seen the buzz on Twitter and other social media feeds, he is not running for a second term. And AANR will definitely miss his leadership and his input and his vision. And perhaps he'll get involved again a little bit down the road. And don't forget, we'll have Mitch London on again a little later in this uh, coming summer to discuss his video show, This Dude Cooks in the Nude. So we're looking forward to that uh, as well. Well, thank you for being with us on Naked, Nudist, and Naturist, episode 43 today. We give you a brand new show every Saturday morning at 6 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. Continue to join us. Check us out on our website, nakednudistandnaturist.com, Spotify, Google, Amazon slash Audible, Apple Podcasts, and also on Twitter. You can write us anywhere, anytime, anyplace. And uh, we thank you for being with us uh, today. Plan to join us for every single one of our shows here and have your clothes off when you're listening. We have our clothes off when we're broadcasting, enjoying the naturist life. We celebrate clothes-free living for all. Remember to enjoy being naked and join us again for Naked Nudist and Naturist. We drop a brand new show every Saturday morning, so come back and join us. Have your clothes off when you do for Naked, Nudist, and Naturist. Have a great clothes-free day.